In everyday situations, we talk about individuals being adaptable or adapting to situations. But in a scientific context, only populations can adapt. In some cases, populations of organisms change gradually over time along with their surroundings or as they move into new habitats. In other cases, populations of organisms look pretty much the same for millions of years. Either way, we see evidence of adaptation. Scientific adaptation happens because of two processes acting together. First is reproduction. With each generation, new genetic variations come about through mutation and allele shuffling. These random processes increase the diversity of a population. Second, natural selection decreases diversity in a population. By its very definition, selection is a non-random process. Genetic variations that don't work are weeded out. Those that convey a reproductive advantage are carried into the next generation. With another round of reproduction comes new genetic variations. Repeated over long time scales, natural selection and reproduction shape multiple genes and traits, leading to different possible outcomes. The first is that lineages can look very much the same over time. This happens when the traits of a population continue to work well and any new trait variations that come about are no better than the ones that were already common. Similarly, new variations that are harmful are not propagated. The second possible outcome is that lineages can change over time. This happens when new trait variations that come about are more beneficial. In both cases, the result is adaptation populations will tend to remain well-suited to their environments.